This lesson is on finding equal ratios and proportions. A key understanding is that you can find equal ratios just like you find equivalent fractions. You can use a magic one. You can use a magic one to multiply or divide to find equal ratios. Remember that anything you multiply by one is the same number. Three times one is three. Seventy-three times one equals seventy-three. So anything you multiply times one is going to be the same number. We know that. And that's why we can use a magic one of like two over two. And we know that's a one because all fractions are division problems. So two divided by two equals one. 43 divided by 43 equals 1. 10 divided by 10 equals 1. So we know we're multiplying by 1 or dividing by 1. We have our magic 1 here. We have our magic 1 here. We can multiply or divide by the magic 1. And we know these are 1's because the numerator and denominator are the same number. And when we do the division, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 10 divided by 10 is 1. This is just a reminder of what we already know about magic 1's. So if we have 30 fortieths, or a ratio of 30 to 40, and we multiply that times 1, and we use a magic 1 here of 2 over 2, 30 times 2 equals 60. 40 times 2 equals 80. So 60 to 80 is the same as 30 to 40. We can also divide that with a magic one of 10 over 10. 30 divided by 10 equals 3. 40 divided by 10 equals 4. These are equal ratios. When two ratios are equal, we have a ratio here and a ratio here. They are a proportion. And we'll talk more about that later on. So let's take a look at something we ratios that we use quite a bit. Some of us use it every day. If you help your mom or dad out in the kitchen and you're cooking, one of the most common ratios we have is water to rice. Because we're cooking rice, you need two cups of water for every one cup of rice. Let's not forget that we're supposed to label, so we'll write that down here, water and rice. Water to rice is a 2 to 1 ratio. These are both cups, by the way. Cup and a cup. So two cups of water to one cup of rice. We're using the same size measurement. This is a ratio using the same size of measurement to make this comparison of 2 to 1. So the ratio is 2 to 1. Let's give a brief reminder that it is written as 2 to 1 because rice, water comes before rice, so it's 2 to 1, 2 to 1. These are the three ways we can write it. Let's check that out. Yes, we are correct. Notice that they are always in the same order as the statement. Water to rice. So now we're going to double the quantity of water and rice. So two cups of water to one cup of rice will give us four servings of rice. And then we need to say, if we double that, what do we have? Well, we have, if we double two, it's four. If we double one, it's two. And if we double four, it's eight. So let's take a look at that and see if we can use what we know about equivalent fractions. So we have a ratio of water to rice, 2 to 1. And we're going to double that, which means we use a magic 1 of 2 over 2. Again, we're multiplying, really, by 1. 2 times 2 equals 4. 1 times 2 equals 2. So now we have a ratio of 4 to 2 water to rice, 4 to 2 water to rice, and we know if we take have our servings, which is 4 right here, and we double that 
times 2. That's going to equal 8 servings. And sure enough, we have 8. So what we found is we have an equal proportion. 2 to 1 is equal to 4 to 2. So now, if we have 10 cups of water, how many cups of rice do we need and how many servings will we get? Our original ratio is 2 to 1 and we know that we need 10 to something. So let's see how we can use our math. Again, we label. We're comparing water to rice and our original ratio is 2 to 1 and we need to make it equal 10 to something. So we have to think, how do I turn 2 into 10? If I multiply by 5, 2 times 5 equals 10. And it's a magic one. That means my numerator and denominator, both parts of the ratio, have to be the same. That has to be 5. 1 times 5 equals 5. So now we have a new ratio of 10 to 5. Let's find out how many servings that will get. Remember our original ratio of 2 to 1 gave us 4 servings. And if we're using 5 here, we're going to multiply this by 5 as well. Since it's not in fraction or ratio form, we can just use these numbers right here. 4 times 5 equals 10. So we should be able to, I'm sorry, 4 times 5 equals 20 which means a ratio of 10 parts water, 10 cups water to 5 cups of rice will give us 20 servings. Let's label this as well. 10 cups to 5 cups equals 20 servings. And we can see here that 10 cups of water equals 5, cu and five cups of rice equals 20 servings. Here's a simple way to show this. For every 2 to 1, you get 4. So we have 2 to 1, we have 4. 2 to 1, we have 4. 2 to 1, we have another 4. 2 to 1, we have another 4. 2 to 1, we have another 4. And 4 times 5 equals 20. So the proportion 2 to 1 is equal to 10 to 5. So let's look at this. We'll look at it from the point of view of the servings. If I have four servings and now I need 12 servings, how do I turn 4 into 12? Well, 4 times 3 equals 12. So we, that's a clue for our magic one. So now that we know that to turn 4 into 12, we multiply times 3. 4 times 3 equals 12. We can use that information to convert our ratio here of water to rice and it is two cups water to one cup of rice. We can convert that and we're going to use a magic one multiply times, let's change colors here, times a magic one of three over three equals two times three equals six 1 times 3 equals 3. So it is a ratio of 6 to 3. Let's find out. 6 to 3. So ratio of 2 to 1 will give us 4 uh, servings. So a ratio of 6 to 3 should give us 12 servings. Let's check. And we are correct. So just to review. To find an equal ratio, you can multiply or divide with a magic one. And if you multiply them by one, a magic one here, you will find an equal ratio. And that's going to be a key thing to being able to do the future work we're going to do with ratios and proportions.